What's good, y'all? It's Dre Q. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube say now. But listen, y'all, I've been doing this for a minute. And this is not the first time I went this long without doing a video. So y'all should be used to it by now. But listen, but you don't always come back with that heat. You don't always come back with that fire. You feel me? So today, I'm going to fill y'all in with a couple things. You feel me? And then we're just going to open up the floor for any type of questions. I want every single question that you could ever have. Like, we just gonna have a whole discussion. I don't gotta get, I don't have to answer a question more than once. You feel me? We can all have a discussion as in like, y'all can chime in if you need to. That's what I need, I need feedback. We need conversation right here. So, um, first off, let me catch everybody up who's been tracking with me um, on my life real quick. Let's see how I can uh, wrap this up because it's been a lot of going on. Uh, well, I'm out of the dorms. I'm in the uh, I'm in my first apartment ever, and I also uh, grabbed me a little puppy or whatever. Y'all want me here, Rosie? Rosie. Rosie. Ew. Short A. Rose. Girl, come here. Girl, calm down. I got her when she was two, three weeks old. I was still in the dorms. I had a friend watching her in an apart in their apartment. Literally every day I had to go uh, to base housing to like feed her, let her out and all that stuff. Um, it was super hard. October 1st was my move-in date. I didn't sell on senior airmen until November 16th. I did get BTZ. That was my goal. I sewed, 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 sewed on. Yeah, I'm slow. I sewed on senior airmen six months earlier than projected. Um, I wasn't supposed to be a senior airman until May 16th, 2020. You feel me? It's a big deal. It's a super big deal to me. It's not a big deal to everybody. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's a big deal if you do get it. But I guess, yeah, if I didn't get it, it might, I'm lying. If I didn't get it, I probably would have like found my way out of the Air Force because I literally worked my ass off for this. So I literally like was to the point where like, if I don't get this, I honestly don't know how I'm gonna feel about the Air Force. Like I was at that point. I was doing so much for the Air Force that they didn't give me what I want. I was out. Okay. Anyways, I got what I wanted, clearly. Uh what else can I update you guys on? So you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna answer my frequently asked questions. So my number one question is how was basic? Was it hard for you? That's literally number one basic training mind you i have a video on my experience over two years ago when i tell you today basic training is not even the same like to a certain extent you do all the same things but i don't believe you guys have airman's week i think that got taken away which was like an extra week after basic training so it basically adds a week to regular basic training because airman's week was like a party you feel me it's a lot different though y'all didn't y'all don't even get canteens like i think i have one like you see this right here i wanted to see if it still smelled like breath this is what i drank out of for eight and a half weeks y'all get water bottles with straws now like what so even when i tell you my experience or even when you watch my video on my experience it's not going to be like that trust me and even if I do tell you exactly what's going to happen at BMT, it's not going to happen like that for you. It, literally, I tell this to people all the time. I can tell you my experience. I can tell you how it was for me, but that's not how it's going to be for you. I will tell you what happened. I'll tell you how basic it was for me. Um, it was hard for me. I'm not even going to lie. Basic training wasn't hard, but it was hard for me. It was a challenge. It was very challenging. It was a lot of things that I was doing day to day that I would never have done if it wasn't for the military. You know what I mean? There's people that I met, people that I had to work next to, people that I have to talk to that I probably would have never, not even probably, that I would have never spoken to, what I never would have came in contact with if it wasn't for the military. So it's like, it's a super like crazy type of experience, but it's also like super challenging. And it was hot as hell. <laughs> like it was so i never been that hot in my life. I'm from up north, so... 
that's basically my answer i usually tell them like i have a video on my experience but your experience is not going to be like mine that's basically the answer to that uh what's another question i always get how do you get to travel so much even my friends that are in the military ask me how i'm always traveling how i'm always taking trips how do i always have this much leave to go places like this so let's keep this real short and simple you get 30 days okay 30 days out of the entire year paid vacation okay and then you count maybe like 12 holidays out of the whole year and it's like almost every holiday we get a four-day weekend so one i take full advantage of days off yes you're supposed to request leave if you're leaving out of your area usually it's like a five hour radius if you go outside the five hour radius you need to put in for leave so I just don't go outside the five hour radius. I just take trips anywhere that's close by. Um, I don't really like flights because flying out of Little Rock is very expensive. So if I can drive there, I can go. On top of that, I use my leave days wisely. So it's like, if I'm going home, I'm not asking for anything more than five days maybe at a time because by the second day, I didn't see everybody in my family and they didn't all pissed me off. So I'm ready to go back. Um, so, it, you know, I just spend the next couple of days seeing my friends, you know, catching up on some sleep because that's one thing that I don't get here. My trips, my leave periods are usually no longer than a week. And then, okay, so another thing, which was kind of fortunate for me, I spent almost 11 months in tech school. So I spent almost a year, I had basically 30 days already saved up for of leave when I first got out of training. So I've always had at least 15 days under my belt. Right now I have 11 and I just took a week in Vegas. Like I'm always, <laughs> I'm literally always leaving. And it's like my leave days just come back and I don't, I don't, I don't, I honestly just don't know how. I just use them wisely. And then on holidays, just use, the, use that as your travel time, use that as your trip time. Just go places like every chance you get like get out of here like I, i'm here enough so it's like every single chance i get to leave i'm gone yeah i just use my leave days wisely um uh, and i just go wherever i want on holidays uh just play it safe make sure you know for a fact you're gonna get back here on time and know for a fact that you have the money or you have the resources to get your ass back here um if anything were to go down and nobody knows where you're at so um there's that a lot of people ask me about like what's the easiest job or what's the best job for me or you know my recruiter's telling me i can only do this um i get a lot of like job questions like that like can i like because my, my thing is you're joining the military okay so this isn't college you cannot pick your job you feel me like you I don't want to say that because you can you can pick your job and you can say no you get a list of jobs after you take your ASVAB so that's on you too like constantly failing is just making it harder for you and um, it's taking away your opportunities because each time you believe it or not as soon as you take your ASVAB as soon as you get in the system there's a job populating for you there's orders populating for you like the Air Force does this all day long we're rotating in and out literally make sure you're open-minded do your research first of all uh well, well second of all do your research so be ready to get a lot of things thrown at you get a lot of information um put into your mind to think about um give yourself that time to think don't rush things and then it's like i tell people okay yeah watch youtube um you know, ask me questions. I got you. I'll tell you whatever you need to know. But even that, I want you to be yourself. Like, at the end of the day, this decision is for you. You feel me? Like, I could tell you to do anything. I could tell you I have the best job in the Air Force, but it's because I'm working it. If you were in my position, you may not use my position the same way I use my position. You know what I mean? The way I adapt is different than the way that you adapt. So, you could have this job and say it's the worst job in the Air Force. The one decision that you do have is when you join and what you're joining for, you feel me? So that's your biggest decision is making sure you're going in with a job that you know, full, full spectrum, 
what you're joining, what you're doing, how long your tech school is going to be. You know what I mean? Like, ask questions like that. Because I had no idea how long my tech school was going to be. I thought I was going to get a training and I was going to be at my base. Um, little did I know, after training, I had about four months, I believe. I think my, my, yeah, my tech school was projected to be only four months. But I ended up in tech school for 11. Um, on top of the two that I was in basics. Completely changed my outlook on things and ever since then I've been telling people like know know your stuff like make sure you do your research make sure you ask those questions if your recruiter doesn't need to tell you most likely they're not going to why waste their breath if it's something that doesn't even you know matter to you like they don't because that didn't matter to me I kind of just wanted to join you know what I mean so I think my recruiter uh sensed that so he told me what I wanted to know and he told me what I needed to know um but anything extra, he really wasn't um, too pressed about it. That's really my only thing. I don't. I kind of don't really answer that question the best way. Um, but I always get questions about jobs, and I honestly cannot tell you anything more than just to do your research and ask questions. But all in all, this is your experience. You're here on YouTube watching my video to learn about my experience in my opinion what i don't want you to get from this is that whatever i do or whatever happens to me is what's going to happen to you i owe y'all a lot of information i owe y'all a lot of videos and i swear to god i'm on it okay those are really my top three frequent questions i'm like i said i'm gonna open the floor i'm gonna open the screen <laughs> and i want you to go down there i want you to ask me any question i promise you i will get to you promise you I will answer you can ask anybody who's reached out to me I try to answer every single question to the best of my ability even if it's something I don't want to answer like when people ask me what's the easiest job in the military like first of all why would you want to be in the military if you want the easiest job in the military like you don't even sound like you want to be in the military no job in the military is easy and I'm not even gonna hold because you're in the military I promise you I can't trust that enough like you got your job, but you're also in the military. There's exercises, there's deployments, there's TDYs. There's things that you do outside of your job also that will remind you, best believe, it will remind you that you were in the military. I wanna end this because I wanna start my next video because I don't wanna keep talking outside of what I wanna put in my next video. So I want y'all to take this information in, take it all in. And ask me what you want because I'm ready. I'm here. See here in the street. You feel me? I'm stepping up in the world. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. That's how you keep up with my life. Just letting you know. Ask your questions below. Hit that subscribe button. I don't know where it's at. Um, hit that little bell because I'm about to start hitting y'all with videos. I wish I knew how to put an effect right here. I could just throw YouTube logos in your face like that i'm gonna learn how to do that one day so my video is gonna be fire but until then thanks for watching